All right, so it's almost one o'clock. I have debated whether or not to hop on the train here, shuttle, whatever that thing is, or just walk. I think I'm just walking. A little walking isn't gonna hurt me, especially since I'm spending so many hours a day in the hospital. And uh, so, um, a couple of friends have given me uh, some directions to places for breakfast. Uh, my brother gave me a link and then another friend of mine who's actually in Okinawa right now uh, said there's a restaurant about three minute walk uh, going south from here, which would be that direction. But last night when I was in Chinatown, I found the uh, McDonald's. I don't know how the McDonald's here works as far as their breakfast hours and whatnot. But I figure it's Sunday. I'm just going to go ahead and wander back over that way. And uh, we'll figure it out. It's a little humid today. So I'm just going to do a little walking and sightseeing. And one thing I noticed, there are a lot of abandoned um, scooters and bicycles. That, that one over there is growing mold. There's bicycles here in this parking area that are missing parts with signs that this one doesn't even look like it's chained to the thing. The chain's off, flat tires, there's another one around the corner. Uh, I've seen a couple up here along the street. Uh, nobody messes with them. That umbrella's been there for the past four days. Nobody touches it. So... That's one thing I, I see a lot of around here is abandoned bikes and um, scooters. All right, well, this is what happens when you just wander down the street. I found a little model shop, it looks like, so I'm gonna poke my head in. Tamiya. So they have a bit of everything. There's a whole bunch of fireworks. I mean, a whole bunch of fireworks. And uh, planes and cars and uh, some Star Wars stuff. Uh, nothing American cars, uh, all Japanese. The so, but nice little shop, very clean. So, yeah, we're just gonna keep on wandering. So I've passed over this a few times. There's these staircases you can walk down. You see, there's a walkway. And it looks like tide is high, so you can't walk down there. Uh, at least it doesn't smell like dead fish today. Another 7-Eleven. <laughs> The way these 7-Elevens and Family Marts are spaced out is kind of crazy. There's a Family Mart here, and then right around the corner from that one, there's a another one, and then there's a 7-Eleven here. So, just got to be careful with these streets. Now, this one doesn't have a light, but I've seen people come flying down this street a few times. massage place all right all right well it looks like McDonald's is hopping this morning I don't know what their breakfast times are I'm trying to see the menu but I didn't want to cut in front of anybody So I just came from that way. I made a big loop starting at the very end of this. And I'm right back to where I had dinner last night. But it looks like they have like something getting ready to happen here today. So I'm gonna take a look at these booths. Maybe I'll come back here in a little bit. All right, so this, whatever this is, it's not open yet. Uh, there's some more that way. I just saw a little statue here as I was crossing the street. So I'm going to go over here and take a look at it real quick. Alright, so this is where I just crossed the street. and I, This stuff caught my eye. And it's talking about this waterway and the, sh the shop that was here. But this is really what drew my attention. Pretty neat. Looks like it's made out of brass or something. And our graph lights all in. 
I, I'm gonna say that looks more like Chinese, but I might be wrong. No, it's Japanese. I know this character. That's kind of cool. And then there's some sort of hole here. I guess that's for the marking or something. Don't know if it's still in use, but interesting. And then there's a naked lady getting ready to dive in the water, I guess. All right. Oh, there's a moss burger. All right, I'm going back into the shopping center. All right, so I had the KFC for lunch. Um, not as good as I would have thought. Um, the coleslaw was not the sweet coleslaw that I like that we get in the States. No extra crispy. It was an original recipe. And it was, in my opinion, super salty and a bit overcooked. It was a little dry. Um, but it was only 12 bucks for coleslaw and two-piece with fries. Fries weren't bad. Um, and I got lemonade. Um, so I'm heading just around the corner here to the 7-Eleven so I can pick up a couple more liters of water. Because uh, I've been drinking a lot of water. And then I'm going to go back to the hospital and uh, see how Heather's doing and relax for the rest of the day. Something I've walked by a few times the last couple of days, cigarette vending machines. We haven't had those, at least in California, since like the 70s, I think, late 70s, early 80s. Yeah. I think the last place you could still buy cigarettes and vending machines was like the bowling alley in California. All right, there's 7-Eleven. So, I'm gonna get some water, and then just, that's the hospital right there. So, it's pretty close.